today I bring to you the wheelbarrow narrative. I know when some of you hear about the wheelbarrow, you already associate it with someone. But really, this is the wheelbarrow narrative. A wheelbarrow is a hand-propelled vehicle, usually with one wheel, designed to be moved and guided around by a person using two handles at the rear. The wheelbarrow's origin is dated precisely to 118 AD in China. This wonderful invention reached Europe sometime between 1170 and 1250, and France between 1172 and 1222. By the 13th century, the wheelbarrow proved useful in building construction, mining operations, and agriculture. The Honda HP E60 an electric power-assisted wheelbarrow was produced in 1998. Motorized wheelbarrows are generally either diesel-powered or electric-powered. The wheelbarrow has more than 1,000 known uses to highlight just but a few. The wheelbarrow is used in the construction industry to transport sand to the mixing area ballast, mixture, that is koroga, water from the source, leaves for cows, coffee to the coffee factory, manure to the farm, farm produce, home. And believe it or not, the wheelbarrow is used to transport sick people to the hospital. How? Very easy. Slant it to make it lie by the handles and the rear legs. Place cushions in order for comfortability of the patient. Place your patient there and lift up. Use your mouth as the siren. Woo, woo, wee, wee, wee. One day, I was transporting my very <whistles> wife to hospital for delivery. On the way, the baby decided it was time and came out peeping. I said, uh, hello, uh, Papa is driving, I'll call you later. Moreover, the wheelbarrow is used as an SI unit in construction where you put certain wheelbarrows of sand and certain wheelbarrows of ballast and certain wheelbarrows of water. The wheelbarrow is a key tool for business for many Kenyans. Think of the very many Kisi brethren with the Yahani tasting sugarcane. What do they use? The wheelbarrow. Have you ever counted the Beba Beba in town who entirely depend on this precious community as their source of income? And the many Juakali artisans who make the precious commodity. Wheelbarrow is also used for leisure. A long time ago before I bought my very expensive uh, car, I used to take my kids, place them on the wheelbarrow and I would ride them the whole day. And sure enough, they would enjoy. Did you know that I started my driving lessons using the wheelbarrow? How? Simple. At the front, there there is the gear lever. Step on it and your legs will be lifted up. Hold the sides of the wheelbarrow for they are the steering. Propel using one foot. And once you get the momentum, enjoy the ride thanks to gravity. To break, slowly bring the rear legs to a hold and slide the propelling foot. Do this at your own risk. Ladies and gentlemen, the wheelbarrow has been a source of inspiration for very many and major inventions in Kenya. As young boys, we used to make our very own wheelbarrow using a ball bearing and the sticks and, it, and we would call it a tiri tiri. Anyone who had this item was equivalent to having a present day V8. I saw the other day people who criticize the wheelbarrow make what I would call a wheelcopter. Can you imagine 
a wheelbarrow that can fly just like a helicopter, what an invention we would have. We would have brought the year 3030 to the present day. Imagine in the construction, the, those young men would not struggle with the Koroga, but would just use the wheelcopter. Imagine even riding this precious wheelcopter at a Kudandia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the wheelbarrow narrative. If you are going to propel this nation, if you are going to transport this nation, make this nation a standard unit. Construct this nation, empower the bottom, and bring them up. Revive businesses. I will give the wheelbarrow narrative. One young man said that you cannot use the 19th century technology to solve the 21st century problems. But I tell him that you can use the 21st century power-assisted wheelbarrows to make the solution. I ask him to join me to give the wheelbarrow narrative.